you've mentioned on Twitter that while it really is Steve Hoffman's mm. constitutional mm. right, or anybody's constitutional right really to sing mm. De Stem, this isn't so much about a right rather than, I suppose, a responsibility or, mm. or understanding. Can you explain this y to us? Yes, you see that people often conflate the, uh, two things. They say, well, we have a right to sing it, so you dare not criticize me. But they don't understand, just because you have a right to do something doesn't mean that what you are doing is a laudable thing, is a good thing to do. No, it isn't. Yeah. I have a, even a right to wave the old South African flag. I have a right even to wave the Nazi flag. Am I going to do that? Not in a bloody million years, <laughs> it will be madness. So, uh, just because it's, it's something that you have a right to do, doesn't mean you shouldn't think, well, how does this actually appear? What message is this sending to fellow South Africans? Um, uh, what am I actually saying when I do this? What, what is the kind of uh, message that I send about who I am as a human being? Am I not perhaps embarrassing myself <laughs> by doing this kind of thing? Right. Well, even Zelda Lagrange agrees with you. And she said in, um, in the newspapers today, to Steve Hoffman, um, addressing him, although I mm. think you have every constitutional right to sing the stem at a rally, I feel that you have a platform to say things in a positive way instead of using our language and our culture in a way that leads to segregation. Mm. And I think that was just so well put. Mm. Really, really well put. Yeah. It's also, the thing is that there was another Afrikaans writer, Pete Krokan, who also wrote in the, in the build, and said that Afrikaners the, the certain group of Af Afrikaans speaking white people are actually not particular being particularly <coughs> wise because we are not a majority <laughs> in this country um, so we have to live with everybody else pretending that you are uh, uh, rugby forward and throwing your weight around and, uh, and, and just acting in a very arrogant and uh, disrespectful way towards other people's experiences and feelings just seems to me like counterproductive. Forget about what you feel, forget about everything else, forget about what is right. Just think about your own interest. Mm. So, I, uh, you know, I'm d I don't think like that, but I think more people should actually start thinking what is in their own interest, uh, even if they don't believe it. Right, so <laughs> be smart about it, yes, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's the other side to the coin, which is the EFF, who believe that it needs to be scrapped completely. And, Sipo, I think there are a lot of people, and I actually include my, my dad among them, who who has, uh, you know, articulated a struggle to, sting, to sing the Afrikaans part of the national anthem. He does with pride, but it's, it was a real process of learning and, and almost coming to grips, really. And there are lots of people who agree with you that it's a difficult thing to sing. So what about the suggestion by the EFF spokesperson, Mbuyiseni um, and Lozi, just to scrap it altogether? Well, um, that, that is what I meant earlier when I said that there are two sides to this argument. There's the other side of people who don't want to even sing the stem when it comes up in the national anthem. And I just want to read uh, for you guys. I've got the um, the declaration of the 53rd National Conference. Uh, that, that's the one that happened in Mangaung in, uh, in 2012. Oh, sorry, Mr. Ofmeyer, Bloemfontein. Um, where, um, so uh, this is this is an actual declaration that would have been read out by the the, um, the 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 chairwoman, and it says the ANC must actively promote the national anthem of the country as it currently exists, and whenever the ANC sings the original Kosisigeleli Africa, it should not be referred to as the national anthem. Now, why was it necessary for the ANC to put it into their resolutions in 2012, but members must sing this stem part of the national anthem and that's because of a debate that exists within the ANC and within the tripartite alliance about whether or not a liberation movement should stand up and sing the song of the oppressor you know and I remember very well also in 2012 um, I attended the, the national conference of the communist or the, the SACP the South African Communist Party where they absolutely refused to sing the national anthem, but saying Kosisigeleli Africa. So that part of the debate exists. What is interesting is that it is the ANC that makes it the law for their members to sing this stem. So I want to ask people like Mr. Hofmeyer, who is making concessions here? Who is extending the olive leaf and who is the one who is not accepting it? 
who's the one who is not accepting reconciliation here? 